What's up guys? My name is Dustin Wine, professional volleyball player, Team USA, and coming at you from Poland, Lublin, with my professional team, and kind of in the gym to play some cross net. Volleyball meets four square. So I brought some of my teammates. We got Shimon Libero from my team. We also got the big man. We got Stru from the Polish Junior National team. And then also Igor, another one of our young players, him and Struh just came back from winning the bronze medal in world championships. So we had a free morning, wanted to get in, see how we can train, get some extra reps in, set up the cross net. And uh, this was their first time playing, but my first time playing indoors. So just like Foursquare, you get the king of the court side and the person on that court is the only one that can score. The other three, are teaming up to go against them and once the king is knocked off you move up clockwise on your way towards that king court looking to take points so today we're going to talk a little bit about some signature cross net moves the moves that i saw either with myself or with my polish teammates that worked really well not only on the cross net but things that i think we can also use when we play indoor volleyball six on six. And so the first one I saw really clear is just having that body control, right? A lot of American athletes, we broad jump and that's when we get into trouble, whether it's cross net or indoor volleyball. And so the Polish guys are so good in getting their feet right up to the net where they have that body control. And if they meet a block, you have the power from your shoulders to push and swipe out. Contrast is broad jumping and just really having no power at all. And once you meet that block, you just get stuffed straight down. So you can see just how good Stru was, how quick he was moving his feet around to the ball. And he was just so dominant and having that great body control. Signature move number two, the ability to either jump set or attack the ball. This is something we're seeing more and more indoor and it's pretty freaking cool coming out of the back row. And to get the king off the court, especially when it was through, we had to have a little creativity. He's a big boy, he's about six, nine. And so being creative and going up on the first or second touch and either faking the hit and setting it or faking the set and hitting it and having this creativity to catch the blocker on the king court off guard and to make him miss, jump, or get fooled, I think is huge in this game because it's just so difficult to take points that you have to have a little creativity and a little trickery. And the Polish guys are so good at this skill. It's something I think a lot of Americans can work on. So those are my two moves. One, get your feet to the net. You're gonna be stronger to push the tip to swipe and number two having the ability to jump set and or hit and keeping that blocker guessing on the king court so you can get him off quicker so you can get to the king court and start racking up points so comment below and let me know your signature move for crossing up